What's going on guys? Come to your back again on another MAB the Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. And today we are going to be talking about some content that we are going to be receiving in the next couple of days. Of course, if you go over to the moment section, you guys already know the Sony Partner Moments. We at first got the big intro set that had, you know, each one, and we got a chance to play as each of the Sony Partner uh each of the Sony Partners. And then recently, I think it was last week or the week beforehand, we got a set dedicated to Clutch Silver, of course, and that rewarded us an 88 overall King Griffey Jr. for completing about seven moments where were you know very easy they were not hard to complete at all and of course Clutch uh, Clutch Silver's favorite team is the Seattle Mariners and we received a Seattle Mariners legend cord as the moment set reward so Next up, actually on Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, Real Shelfie, or Shelfie, you know, you guys, um, on Twitch, he is going to be revealing which flashback is going to be in his set for his moment, Sony Partner set. Um, I will leave the link down below to uh, Shelfie's Twitch channel down below in the description, so make sure to check that out. Once again, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday on Twitch, Real Shelfie, he is going to announce and show off his new Sony Partner moments. Uh, but I've been basically just want to go over just a little predictions on who exactly we could expect and who we could realistically see um within that so without further ado let's hop right into it of course you guys already know shelfie's favorite team is the philadelphia phillies and that doesn't leave us with too many options historically and just really what we have to work with in game because it's possible it could be a new legend and i will give a couple opportunities maybe um that we could see for new legends at the end of this video but of course for the philadelphia phillies we're at an interesting situation because we already received an 87 overall mike schmidt and cole hamels and an 85 richie ashburn so the reason why this is so interesting is because you guys know the king griffey jr is an 88 overall i realistically if we're only going to get seven to ten moment challenges i'm going to say like the max that are going to give us is like a 90 overall i really couldn't see them giving us any higher so i would figure somewhere between 87 to 90 overall is a pretty good estimate of the overall that we are going to get from the new flashback and or legend for all of the sony partner moments um of course there's pretty much the big four Phillies that are not in the game. That being Jimmy Rollins. He was out of the game, I believe, in MLB The Show 17. Of course, former MVP. Really good switch hitting shortstop. Also with some good defense. He would have been really cool to see in Diamond Dynasty, but unfortunately... They do not have his rights, at least as far as we know. There is a chance, but I'm pretty sure Jimmy Rollins is not going to be in the game. Uh, Chase Utley, once again, he retired last year. No longer uh, SDS has rights to him. Ryan Howard is another one. That would be pretty cool. A nice lefty bat with a uh, ton of power. Of course, another MVP for the Phillies. Um, you guys are going to notice, I'm kind of sour on a lot of these guys because you guys... Rays fan 2008 now don't really have to say much more and then of course Roy Halladay um I'm pretty sure they do not have his rights as well and it's just an interesting situation of course you guys know this passing um I really do not think we are going to see Doc Holliday um at least for a couple years because there's a lot of work they would have to do with his family and they've been preoccupied obviously with um departing as he did pass so um that being said we do have about three good options that I would say that are pretty Pretty realistic that we could see the first one is going to be flashback diamond catcher Carlos Ruiz I'm pretty sure he's still in the game I don't think he's with the Phillies anymore I'm not completely sure where he is but I think we do still have Carlos Ruiz in the game and uh, they do still have his likeness um, so that would be a good option I think usually he is I just dropped my controller um, he's usually like an 89 to an 87 overall somewhere along that line so I think that would pretty much fit in perfect with the overall threshold and restrictions that we could be seeing of course you guys know Carlos Ruiz usually he has pretty good contact uh average power like 65 or so somewhat good fielding and then not very good speed so that's really what to expect from a carlos ruiz card um we don't have too many good diamond hitting catchers so far in the game so that could be interesting um personally he would probably be the least um the least one out of these three that i would be the most excited for next up is lenny dykstra who is actually a brand new legend that we saw last year 
I believe he is a lefty hitter and he I believe is more contact oriented um, still has a fair amount of power like 65 70 he is an outfielder of course so that is another option that we could be receiving I think he was one of the first event cards that we got last year I don't think I tried him out but let me know down below in the comment section if you guys did use him let me know what his swing is looking like and then finally our last one is going to be Cliff Lee who I think is a possibility of course you guys know he already has a flashback cord with the Cleveland Indians which for some reason is only an 85 overall even though I think this was his best year he did actually have a really good year with the Phillies his first year with the Phillies he had like a 2.4 ERA uh, I think he had 200 plus strikeouts and he didn't give up too many hits either so that's a possible starting pitcher flashback legend that we could see for Shelfie's moment challenge set I could see like an 88 overall but then again you would argue he was better when he was with the Indians, so why would he have a higher overall card with the Phillies? It's tough to say, but out of those three, I think I'd be the most excited for a Cliff Lee card, just because he, you guys know he has a lot of control, a lot of walks per nine, and then he has a lot of break to his pitches as well, so... Personally, that's the card that I would like the most, but either any of those three would be pretty good because, of course, they are relatively free cards that should not take you much time at all, um, and the moment challengers are relatively easy and simple as well. Um, like I said, once again, Richie Ashburn, I think he had like a 90 overall last year. I don't know if they would give him a higher card um, than Mike Schmidt as well. I don't think we're going to see like a 90 overall Mike Schmidt. Um, we'd be seeing like a signature Mike Schmidt, but not like one in the middle. And then Cole Hamels, likewise, I think he is only going to get like an 87 overall. There are three guys that I listed that would be cool to see as brand new legends. The first one being Bobby Abreu. Of course, you guys know him. Um, he would be really cool to see. You know, he was with the Angels, the Phillies. I think he's most known for being a Philly, of course, an outfielder with a good amount of power and contact, a very good hitter, and some good speed as well. So Bobby Abreu would be a very nice welcome new legend to see into the game. Jim Tomei, again, this would be interesting, but he would work perfectly for the Phillies because you guys know in his prime, he played for the Indians. But if he was a new legend, I could see him getting like an 88, 89 overall with the Phillies. That would be a cool card as well. You guys know Jim Tomey, the, taller, the towering figure. He did play for the Twins. He hit home run number 600 here. So I was able to see him quite extensively while he was with the Twins. Um, big first baseman, lefty bat, a lot of power. You guys already know. And then finally, Brad Lidge would be another one. Personally, do not like, I'm not a big fan of him. You guys saw once again, 2008 World Series against the Rays. He dominated us. We lost that series in five. And our only World Series appearance, we did lose. So he is another option. I believe he was like 41 for 41 saves that season. So I could see like an 88 overall diamond flashback legend for Brad Lidge if he was a new legend in the game. Of course, none of those three are confirmed or anything. Those are just three new legends that I would personally like to see for the Philadelphia Phillies and once again Lenny Dykstra, Carlos Ruiz, and Cliff Lee are the most likely in my opinion that we are going to see for Shelfie's Sony Partner Moment set that we should be seeing on Thursday. I'm not entirely sure when this is actually going to release um, because actually I think it says out here if we back out um yeah right here shelfie reveal 509 which is Thursday new Sony Partners Moments at 4 p.m. um at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so I actually got that wrong. That is Pacific time. I good thing I checked that actually. So that will be 7 p.m. Um, so uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I really doubt that wouldn't come out on Thursday. So I think on Friday we are going to see those new moments alongside. We are also getting brand new second inning program moments. And I don't know if we would be getting new headliners because they dropped today on a, or they dropped yesterday technically. This video is coming out on Tuesday. But of course we got two new moment play or two new uh, headliner players. So I don't know if we're going to see another one on Friday. We are going to have to wait and see. Let me just make sure that there's nothing else. Uh, Mother's Day content as well. We're getting a new bat skin and a conquest map. Hopefully we get another new legend or flashback uh, conquest player reward 
for uh hopefully it's a diamond you know this jackie bradley it was cool but i think we should be getting another new diamond player for a conquest reward it has been a minute technically ty Cobb is the only diamond player that you earn from conquest so that is what we should be expecting on friday but that is once again who i am expecting for shelfie's sony partner moments if you guys have your own thoughts and predictions let me know down below in the comment section and yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like down below hope you guys are great today and there goes saudi Love is love, and hate is hate To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory